Good morning. Good afternoon. And good evening. I'm Brian. <laughs> yeah, he's Brian and I'm Red. Um, so we are on the Daka Daka Direct Twenty server, and we're gonna be playing Minecraft. Um, Brian actually already has a pretty good base established not too far from here, but he agreed to start over as part of my YouTube series. So give him a big old thanks. Either a fun thing to do or a foolish thing to do. We'll find out. Yeah. One thing... Ooh. Eggs and feathers. One thing we're going to need to do is get a bed pretty quick, so that way we have a proper spawn. So let's find some flax. There, there should be flax on here somewhere, right? Um, uh, yeah, I just replanted. Oh, I got string for one of the plants. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. I didn't get enough to make two beds. Uh, we only need one bed. This 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 has Morpheus. It goes. I need a tree. Oh gosh, should we pick an area without any trees? Oh, there's one next to the farm. We'll just borrow one of those. Alright. Gotta make sure we get some saplings so that way. Ooh, more flax. How much string do you have? I got two pieces left over after making the bed. Alright, sleep, because I'm scared. Okay, I'm sleeping. Oh, gosh, darn it, we need 50%. Yeah, yeah. Wanna to sleep too? Uh, we don't have a bed for me. Well, the other person that's on. Who just happens to be my wife sitting Ooh. next to me? Oh, it's not. <laughs> I get to talk to her and bug her too. All right. Um, where's the bed so I can set my spawn? Uh, it's in the house with the hammer. Yeah, that, that hammer's house. gonna be handy because that'll save us some iron early on. The engineer's house. New spawn point has been set. Yay. Right. Someone got the blacksmith. <laughs> yeah. We got we got some good villagers here. So I guess our first priority should be getting some mining done. Which means we're gonna no, first priority should be Tinker's tools, because Tinker's tools are the best way to start. Yeah, we need some trees. Yeah, well we have a birch sapling. I'm going to plant. And we got some bones from a dead skelly man. So I'm going to bone meal it. Oh, and this, this has fast leaf decay, so yes, that'll be nice. Yeah, since we're going to be spending a lot of time here with these villagers, uh, we definitely want to make sure they're safe. So plenty of light, plenty of uh, walls. Because I once, uh, I, I was playing single player near a village, and by the time I actually wanted to do anything with the villagers, they were all dead. <laughs> yep, that happens. Hey, this train house is cool. There's a steam train in here, some mine cart, a whole bunch of tracks. Nice. Alright, so let's see. So I'm going to start on the tinkering. I need one of you, one of you, one of you, gonna want a pattern chest. And here's the present I found for you. Hey, I get we pants. Got pants. <laughs> And the library will be where I set up the Tinker stuff. That's a good place for it. You, 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 you. I'm going to go ahead and make a mm, big...
All right. Um, I've got a pick, so I'm gonna dig down. So Alrighty, I'll work the food. So what mod do you want to start with? Well, Tinker's one you usually start uh, with to get all the good tools I mean, going. Like what tech mod or like magic mod or something? Well, there's not a lot of magic mods in this path. Now I'm still waiting for Thomcraft to come back. Yeah, Thomcraft is good. Because blood magic would take a while to get into. Yeah, blood magic is not an easy mod to start with. So probably a tech mod. Um. Yeah. Uh, I leave the decision making up to you. Oh gosh. I just fell into cave. Which I mean, good because cave useful, bad because I took damage. I mean, I've got steak left over from what you gave me. Well, it can dry out for the text. You get the sag mills, you get the furnaces. Yeah, the sag mill's pretty nice for uh, starting out. Mm, I need some kind of generator. Survival generator is a good to start for. Probably a shovel. Yay, tree. Alright, so I'm gonna get um what what tinker tool do you want? Like do you want any tinker tools? Oh yeah, I'll just take a basic Ah Bambo. Zombie came out of your cave to say hi. <laughs> okay, you can, you got it. Eat uh, coffee seed. You want an axe or anything? Yeah. Alright, I can make an axe. So I'm gonna want just for myself, then two axe heads. No, All right, I have an axe for you. Cool. And I have torches for myself, made from charcoal. Not, ooh, resonating crystal. That'll come in handy eventually. And charged yeah. Certus Quartz. That's a nice find. Oh, that's actually really nice because that's an easy way to ore double. You know the Quartz Grindstone? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're definitely going to want to do that to maximize our ore yield. Ooh, you got potatoes growing. Good. Taters are nice. Found some uranium. Plenty of coal, so that'll be nice. Another resonating crystal. I hear you, Skelly Man. Come on, come and get me. Congrats! You got a monster on her. <laughs> but I didn't even make a sword. Thought you had to make a sword first. I just gotta kill somebody. Eh, cool. Alright. Um, so yeah, so this first episode, viewers, will mostly just be about getting set up. Uh, between episodes, 
we'll actually like gather some resources, get settled in, have a decent stock of food, yada yada. So we'll, we'll come back once we're actually ready to start the tech mod next episode. For this episode, you know, like, well, you know, just, just basics. Getting plenty of iron. Small little cave, Brian, so uh, nothing too exciting. Other than the two resonating crystals. That was a pretty nice find. Yep. What else is this? Oh, we got oh. gem. <laughs> we got what? Uh, a bunch of the Grand Kibah Jam from Actually Editions. Ooh! I have no idea what those do. I don't either. They're food, though. <laughs> yeah. Of course, we got a decent stock of farms, so it's not a huge deal. But definitely, like, one of the first priorities, I think, should be getting, um, 36 of any metal, because I want a hammer. In fact, oh, yeah. when, when you're not farming, can you gather up some sand and clay and stuff so we've got some seared bricks ready? Sure. Ah, uh, it feels good to have a minion. <laughs> Well, that's this cave exhausted. Time to dig deeper. Well, uh, since we're just not doing much, you seen Spider-Man Homecoming? No, not yet. Uh, it was not bad. I got little kids. I don't get to see movies much. I feel like they'd enjoy it. You know, it's a, a Spider-Man film. The little movies I go to regularly with them are the new Star Wars movies. Oh, Star Wars, yes. Because we'll skip school on that Friday of opening. We'll call it a religious holiday, call the kids in sick type of thing. <laughs> and then we get uh, to see the Star Wars on opening day in the 3D theaters with the cool seats. and. Yeah, movie theaters have really kind of upped their game in terms of... Like, uh, um, how, how nice they are. At least in my area. Also, I saw a librarian who wanted to trade paper for emeralds. So that'll be something to keep in mind. That'll be an easy way to get emeralds early on. Oh, they all do. Any librarian ever will. That's their first trade. Oh, that's nice. I do a lot with villagers. <laughs> um, I mostly just spelt them. Oh, I do that too here, but... Mm. On regular vanilla, I got this trading hall that has every librarian with every book, and... You eventually notice that all traders of any type, like all priests are going to start off trading zombie meat. Mm. All blacksmiths are going to start trading coal. Yeah, I mean, like, they, they, they've got the... They, they're set trade, but... Like, I didn't know that all librarians started with, uh, paper for emeralds. Alright. Y level is 42, so I gotta dig deeper. We're gonna make a smeltery. Yeah, I got, I got, there's some gravel down here if you need it for the smeltery. Oh, this little pond next to our place has... Plenty of sand and everything. Ah. More iron. How did you get all of those? You need to keep the outfit clean. Yeah, I usually end up making a tool forge out of copper, just because copper is abundant and it's not used as much as iron. Because I've noticed that, like, every mod uses a bunch of iron, because iron's a vanilla resource. But not every mod uses a bunch of copper. Like, like, Blood Magic, for instance, you know, uses all the vanilla metals, but doesn't use anything else, because it's, it's, it just relies on vanilla metals. If 
If I can just find some Certus Quartz, then we should be able to make a Grindstone. And then we can potentially get a Tool Forge, get me a Hammer, and have good times. You can hammer in the morning, hammer in the evening. <laughs> some tin, so that'll be nice for bronze. Bronze is always good. Like, not not quite starting, but early game material. Once we get a, a mob a, a mob farm, like we'll be wrong. Well, actually, no, we got XP vacuums from uh, from Ender.io. Cause I typically uh, I install mob grinding utils in my own in my own playthroughs for uh, for the mob masher and the uh, the vacuum hopper, but we don't have that on the server, obviously. No yeah, vacuum hoppers. Yeah, but like it has a special hopper that vacuums hoppers. XP too. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah, one of those. Well, we don't have an XP vacuum hopper, but we do have um, the XP vacuum from Ac not actually edition Ender IO. Yeah, we got something that will eat up the XP. Yeah. No, we, we got some. We can. Ooh, I, okay, I, I had a spike lag for a moment there. Uh, you got any wood for me? Uh huh. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Do you know if you can make the grindstone out of different types of quartz, or does it have to all be one? I think it's just the basic one, because it's not that hard to make. Well, well, yeah, but like, if you look up the recipe for the grindstone, it never has mixed quartz. It always has all three of one type. Mm, you might be able to make them. Yeah, because I have two charged surface quartz and one regular surface quartz. If I don't have three of any one type of quartz. Oh, someone's dying. I think a villager just died on us. Yeah, they're suicidal. If there's a way they'll they can kill themselves, they'll do it. Alright, so would be. No, no. Right, mind you. Just because I need a. I want a tool forge for on the go. Or a tool station, I should say. I should probably make another chest for us so I can store all my loot. It's so slow mining this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Woke up this morning with the draconic axe, and now I'm punching gravel. Yeah. <laughs> well, like uh, like I said at the beginning, uh, Brian here made a big sacrifice to uh, to do this. Not to say you couldn't just go back, but oh, oh, we got quartz grindstone. All right, it is in the library. And, alright, how much uh, gravel and sand and stuff do you have? I got a stack and 28 clay, stack and 11 sand, stack and 15 gravel. Alright, um, give it to me. I'll start working on the seared bricks. I want you to grind. Oh, you got a chest I can just throw it in? Um, there's a chest in the hammer room. Oh, hammer Water's gonna be annoying. Just gonna blow it in here. Yeah, I am correct. Ooh, and canola. That'll be handy. 
I replanted all the stuff. That's the extra stuff. Alright. Uh, I'm just making a poop ton of seared brick because we're going to need it eventually. I think it's like you need two stacks for a decent boundary. Oh, uh, we've got over two stacks. I mean, two stacks of like sand and gravel and stuff. Oh, okay. Here I am grinding up copper. So I want 36 of you so I can make a tool for it, so I can make a hammer, and then I think we can call it an episode. Cool. Because we will be able to mine so much better with hammers. Oh yeah, those things are great. Yeah. Like more definitely more early game than drill. And it just it just gets you so much resources. Especially once you redstone it up. Because then even a stone hammer mines like lightning. St slap an obsidian sharpening kit on it and it'll mine anything. Well, obsidian tools are great too. <laughs> but they don't have much durability. Well, the obsidian tools do. Really? I thought obsidian had kind of poor durability. I think like 5,000 or more. Um, we don't have a tinkers in um, a tinker's book, but I think I can make one. Like the Obsidian X has 8,000 durability. I was using those in the farming stations. Well, those are the unbreakable tools, which are mostly paper, actually. Oh, yeah. So before I did all the paper stuff, I was using Obsidian. It just seems backwards that you can make paper unbreakable, but not the obsidian. <laughs> I got 11 copper so far. Yeah, like the obsidian pickaxe I'm looking at has 106 durability. Oh, that's the wrong one. You want the one from Actual Editions? That one has yeah, 8,000. That one has good durability. Not Tinker stuff. Like, obsidian is useful for extra stuff, it's not so useful for uh, main tool components. Unless you need the high mining. Um, not, so, not high mining level, but uh, yeah. No, silly I villager just. All right, silly villagers just drowned on us. As long as we have two and they can breed. Gosh darn it, lady! Thank you, lady. Um, I'll go capture a couple, just to make sure. Uh, in what? I'll just sell them in their buildings. Oh, okay, yeah. Because I know, because I, I didn't think we had golden lassos yet. What do you want, by the way? Trade coal or emerald? That's a good deal. So once, so we'll, we'll actually use the smeltery to ore double once we get a bucket. Uh, so we'll want to double the iron that we've got. Because the, cause the quartz grindstone is about 1.9 actually. Although in my experience, it's really not quite 1.9. It's actually a bit less. Like I feel like JEI is lying to me. 
But, um, yeah, point is, we can use this to double our iron, to get a bucket. Ah. No needing at least two pieces of iron. Let's grab a third just in case. I'm gonna make a Tinker's Book, just cuz. Alright. Well on our way towards the bucket. Well on our way towards the tool forge. We're doing good for half an hour. Yep. We'll be flying by tomorrow. <laughs> hmm. I got a uh, 37 seared brick so far. I'm gonna need 12 of them for Tool Forge. That should be enough to make uh, just a one high 3x3. Three three. The what? Oh yeah. I just, just a real small one to get started with. Yeah. I mean we can start smaller than a 3x3. Three three. Like, there, as far as I know, the minimum size is like one by one. You know what? One thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to make a uh, seared tank so I can actually get a decent amount of lava when I find it. That's a good idea. Yeah, so I'm going to need a piece of glass. And luckily, there's plenty of sand around. Yeah. We're going to smelt you up. How you doing, Copper? Six more to go, six more to go. Alright, seared tank is made. Tool forge is like three pieces of copper away. Stopper. Un Zabushki. Tool forging it up. Now I just need a little bit of wood for the uh, bindings. You got wood on you? Oh, I gave you all the wood. I'm waiting for the trees to grow again. I'm just gonna mine up some of the wood surrounding the farm. Okay. Because you know what, we can make it look pretty again later. Um, oh, and that means we can make lumber axes now, too. Bet you're happy about that. We could actually use a shovel about now. <laughs> I got a shovel if you wanna borrow it. Uh, you there, Brian? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, thought, thought you went off. And the hammer. Alright. So now that we have 3x3 three three mining, I feel like this is a good place to wrap up the episode. Uh, Brian, any closing thoughts for episode number one? Uh, no, we should have a lot of fun and build some cool stuff. Yeah, alright. So There's an uh, ocean near us. I love building boats, so look forward to that. Yeah. 
Brian here is a much better decorator than I am, so look forward to his in invention and my automation. Sounds like a plan. Alright. See y'all later. Laters.